Adenylosuccinate lyase deficiency, Wikipedia article audio. Adenylosuccinate lyase deficiency, also called adenylosuccinase deficiency, is a rare autosomal recessive metabolic disorder characterized by the appearance of succinylaminoimidazole carboxamide riboside and succinylaidenosine in cerebrospinal fluid, urine. These two succinyl purines are the dephosphorylated derivatives of sacaribotide and adenylosuccinate, the two substrates of adenylosuccinate lyase, which catalyzes an important reaction in the de novo pathway of purine biosynthesis. ADSL catalyzes two distinct reactions in the synthesis of purine nucleotides, both of which involve the beta elimination of fumarate to produce aminoimidazole carboxamide ribotide from SAICAR or adenosine monophosphate from SAMP. Among the signs and symptoms of adenylosuccinate lyase deficiency are the following Presentation Pathophysiology Adenylosuccinate lyase deficiency is responsible for a range of symptoms that involve psychomotor retardation, often accompanied by epileptic seizures, and autistic features. Two common theories were proposed to account for these effects, the first is that they result from decreased concentrations of purine nucleotides needed for purine biosynthesis. Decreased concentrations, however, could not be found in various tissues taken from ADSL deficient people, probably because purines are furnished via the purine salvage pathway. The second is the buildup of accumulating succinyl purines causes neurotoxic effects. In the severely affected individuals, the concentration levels of sacaribicide and esidu are comparable, whereas in people with milder forms of the disease, the ratio of esidu is more than double that of those more severely affected, while sacaribicide concentration levels remain comparable. Biochemical studies of the enzyme have focused on proteins of ADSL from non-human species, the ADSL structure from the crystallized protein of Thermotoga maritime has been used, along with DNA sequencing data, to construct homology models for a variety of other organisms, including human ADSL. A variety of studies have been done using the equivalent enzyme from Bacillus subtilis, which shares a significant percentage of identity along with about some percentage of similarity in amino acid sequence with the human enzyme. Homology models overlaid on each other show a high degree of overlap between the enzymes. The family of enzymes to which ADSL belongs and that catalyze beta eliminations in which fumarate is one of the products are homotetramers with four active sites composed of amino acid residues from three distinct subunits. Much is known about the active site of human ADSL due to studies of the active site in the B subtilis ADSL through affinity labeling and site directed mutagenesis. While there is some variability among species in the sequencing of ADSL, the active site of the enzyme contains many residues that are conserved across species and have been shown to be critical to the enzyme's function. His 68 and his 141 seem to serve as the general acid and base catalysts, and are critical to the catalyzing reaction of the substrate. His 89 seems to enhance the binding of the substrate's phosphoryl group and orient adenylosuccinate for catalysis. All three histidines are conserved throughout the 28 species for which the structure of ADSL is known. CLO 275 and LIS 268 have also been shown to contribute to the active site, indicating there are four active sites each of which is formed from regions of three subunits. ADSL deficiency in different people is often caused by different mutations to the enzyme, more than 50 different mutations in the ADSL gene have been discovered. In terms of the diagnosis of adenylosuccinate lyase deficiency one should look for 
Treatment of adenylosuccinate lyase deficiency can be done via epilepsy management with anticonvulsive drugs. Additionally, the following options include Diagnosis The prognosis of this condition in childhood usually has a stable outcome, whereas in neonatal is almost always fatal, according to Jureka, ETL. Treatment Prognosis Aggressive behavior, microcephaly, autism, brachycephaly, mild cerebellar hypoplasia, seizures. MRI, demonstration of succinyl purines in extracellular fluids like plasma, cerebrospinal fluid and slash or urine using HPLC or HPLCMS, genetic testing. Genomic cDNA sequencing of the ADSL gene and characterization of mutant proteins.